Zentangler, I want to welcome you back to the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2021. Thank you guys so very much for being with me today and each day on this crazy wild ride we have been on for the last 89 days. Amazing. So, for today, we are going to work on a black apprentice tile. At least that's what I'm going to do. Whatever black surface you have. If you have regular just black paper, like in a notebook, you can draw on that. If you've got a uh, cardstock, that's fine. Um, anything black, even an original tile will work. I just prefer the smoother surface on these uh, Zentangle tiles that are black. All right. Hola, everybody, and uh, grüßt euch. Um, ihr seid willkommen. Okay, and bonsoir to my French people. Okay, so for today, for tools, I am using some, going to use something a little bit different as I did with my with my practice tile or my example tile, maybe. And what I did was I used this um, Posca paint marker. Um, it's got a fine tip on it. I'm not excited about it, um, but it does go on really nicely and smoothly. Now, this is water-soluble paint, so it doesn't stay. And uh, one of the things that I was thinking about doing was smoothing out uh, some of these with my with my aqua brush, but the problem with that is then I would be I would be um, moving this pigment, the white pigment, as well as what was on top, and that's not and then they would mix, and that's not what I wanted. So I also on this uh, used and instead of this, of course, the jelly roll is going to work just fine. I'm just testing that out. I am also using one of these special Stardust Jelly Rolls in this dark, gorgeous blue. And let me move this around a little bit in the light so you can see. Uh, the cool thing about Jelly Roll Stardust is that Sakura in Japan uses ground glass for the sparkle in these, which means they catch the light much easier. And again, I don't know that this is a good situation for you to tell, but these are extremely sparkly, and they are much more so than any other kind of uh, glitter pen that I've ever used. So you might want to check those out. All right. The only other thing, the only other thing I'm using today uh, is uh, my pastel pencils. And I'm going to be using the bright blue, the canary yellow, and the indigo blue. And uh, I may also use my white charcoal. Um, the PN is for cleaning up lines. And my pencil, my F pencil. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I forgot to say that my buddy Mari is in chat today. So, so say hi to everybody, Mar. Hey, guys. <laughs> As always, he has that public service announcement that says... E. No, be safe and... Be safe and uh, don't get COVID. There you go. Be safe and don't get COVID. All right. This pattern is called Kaleida. It is by Cindy Knapp, CZT, and it's really easy and a lot of fun. You can do this in the round or you can do this in a square and it doesn't matter. It's going to work uh, the same either way. Okay, so I really liked it in the round, so that's what I'm going to do. I think it's really effective that way, but you can check out tanglepatterns.com and see the step out and uh, some of the square configurations they've got on there. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my straight edge. There it is. My sort of straight edge. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi, Maury. Well, that's because you're the star of the show, little man. Not so little man. The littlest of the mans. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do is try to find my center point. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edges with my line. And I'm just using my white charcoal pencil here. Then I'm also going to go 
straight up and down with this. And I could be drawing this in ink. The problem with, with ink pens and straight edges though, if I had a white tile, that might work. I almost got that. So how is everybody today? So what you've got is a star, okay? And again, if you're working on white, you can just go ahead and ink that in. And uh, the thing, one of the things about this Posca paint marker that I'm not excited about, see if I can get this going, is that it's one of those kinds where you have to shake it, shake it, shake it, and then you have to pump it up and down on a piece of paper to get it going, and that's annoying. <laughs> but, you know, it's me. Okay, so I'm just going to now draw these lines in. And again, your jelly roll is gonna work for this. This paint marker works really well on the black tiles, but it does dry quite a bit thicker than the jelly rolls. It does give a nice smooth line though. Am I clear, Mari, uh, on the picture or is it blurry? You're clear. Okay. It's nice to have my son in chat with us today. He's been doing testing for the last two weeks at school. I think he's done. All right, so once we have drawn in this star, okay, it is time to Aura. Is Carlito here? It's time to Aura, woman. Some people said, uh, uh, said Carlito's name. All right. Well, good. Hopefully Carlito is here. I thought I saw her earlier. Okay, so pick one of these pie pieces, one of these wedges, okay? It can be any one you like. And we're going to Aura the inside of this, okay? So, like this. And it is up to you how narrow or wide you make these auras. There's no rule, and unfortunately, mine, mine get a little crazy. And I'm trying not to leave a big pool of ink at the end. Mari, are you playing a game? <laughs> Why? Why? Well, because I'm paying you to be in chat. I am doing chat. Ah. Good. So we're going to fill this with R lines. And then again, you can make them smaller, thin or thick, doesn't matter. You could even vary them if you wanted to, as far as the width goes. And so that's where I'm gonna stop, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix these edges up at a later time. Now I'm gonna skip a section How's everybody in chat? Do we have any questions? No. Okay. Y'all make sure you put questions in large, in all caps for me so I, so I can see those quickly. Because Mari's not really paying attention. He's playing a game on his phone. Hey. Aren't you? Now I am. Mm-hmm. You guys need to talk to him, keep him in the game. Or rather, in our game. <laughs> Carlito, you got any fun stuff for him? What pen are you using? This is a Posca paint pen or marker. And How to avoid sm Wait, what? Oh, hold on. Go ahead. 
Uh, how to how to avoid smudging if you are left if you are a left-handed person. Okay. So whichever handed you are, you want to start on the opposite end of the tile, right? So I'm right-handed. So I start on the left side of the tile and I move towards the right so that my hand is never in a place to smudge. Also, if you have a spare tile, you can put down and put your hand on top of that, right? Or a piece of copy paper works, um, you know, whatever you've got, some, some a bill or something that you don't care about in the mail. Um, so anything like that is gonna help you to not smudge. And the nice, the thing I like about this is that it dries really quickly, just like your jelly rolls do. This is made by the same company that makes the Uniball Signos. The Signo pens. That's also a white pen, like the Jelly Roll, just a different brand. All right, so we're gonna continue and do this all the way around, skipping sections as we go, okay? Hmm. Yeah. This is a job for which you are getting money. And job. if you were at work, you would not be allowed to play games on your phone while you were working. I'm doing my work. Mm -hmm. You're playing on your phone, little man. I'm doing both. Go ahead. I know I'm not very exciting. What's the size on this pen slash marker? So, um, this is one of their small ones. Um, I'm sorry, everything on here is in Japanese. This says L3.1. And, or, or here it is, here it is, 0.7 millimeters is the nib size. Okay, so almost one. But um, um, it's about the same size as your Jelly Roll 10, I'm guessing. It's a little bit bigger than an eight. But I, see, I seem to have a little more control over it than I do my 10s. The 10s have a lot of ink coming out. And, um, and so that's the thing. You got to stop every now and then, shake it up, and reprime the tip. But again, anything I'm doing with this, you can do with your jelly roll. Even have wiggly lines. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on comments. I am. All right. What they don't know is that I have the comments right next to my phone. Okay. Sure. All right. So, the reason that I have the PN, the Micron PN in black on my list, is for situations like this. If I need to clean up lines, then I'm just going to bring my PN in here and clean that up. This is also a good pen for filling in spaces, I found. It does have some of the same issues as the Jelly Roll, as far as having spots sometimes where uh, your ink won't go down thickly enough to look the same as the other areas. But um, overall, I was pretty pleased. And once you let it dry, you can go over it again. All right. So um, let me uh, cap this real quick and give you an example of what I mean by uh, the PN. So right here, if I want to even up this, although I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Uh, I can do that. Um, over here where I have this mess, 
Lynn says, hi, Cindy and Maury. Chip is watching, too. Hi, Chip. Who's a good boy? And so just like that, my, my um, yucky areas can be washed away easily, right? So I'm not overly concerned right now about uh, anything. I can, I can fix almost everything I'm doing here. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Back to my paint marker, although I could change and use my jelly roll here either way. I just hate that. All right, can I see the front of the phone? Show me the screen. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, show it to me one more time. What? Okay, perfect, thank you. Why are you shaking your, your uh, pen? Uh, because it's a paint pen and it's got a ball in there that keeps the paint mixed up. Oh, so you shake it around? Yes. What? Uh, to keep the paint mixed up. Okay, so the next step on this tangle is we're going to put some more of these sort of zigzagged lines in here in these other sections, but we're going to form them a little bit differently than these. We're not going to make auras. We're going to have a little bit different angle. Now we're still going to point at this tip, okay? We're going to come from the side here. Darcy said. Darcy uh, Colley says, I have Chopper Miss Kitty and the baby uh, Luna Kitty. Hi, Luna Kitty and the baby and Chopper, was that the other one? Yeah, and Allison says, it's the cat show. <laughs> it's the cat show. Oh, hi, Cassandra. That was Allison. I know, but Allison has a cat named Cassandra. Okay, so now I am Ara-ing this first line, but see how the angle and what we're doing in here is very different from what's going on around it. It doesn't matter if these are exactly even. Like I said, I try to put these points um, even with the point in the middle. I need to slow down a little bit. I'm kind of mm -hmm. getting worked up. Making my lines funky. Not that I don't like that. I do. And so when you get down to the end, you can just stop, right? Wherever you want. You could even stop further up if that's what you wanted to do. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this. And I'm gonna try to start about the same place. Here's my center. Uh, Lori Ann DuPont says, why do we use Posca here and not Jelly Roll? Uh, we can. Um, I got these to uh, figure out if they were something I wanted to use on black tiles. You can use Jelly Roll. You're going to get the same result. Susan says, question, in all caps. Yes. Hi, Susan. What is your question? That's all she said. Well, wait. Let her get it out. No, not all of us have those nimble little fingers like you. Susan said, do you want these wider apart from uh, than the other oars? Uh, they can be, I or you can make them narrow. This is, again, a personal choice. Uh, I think in the step out art, they there were, these were a little bit wider than these, but you could do these just as narrow. Uh, Christine says, you can use jelly roll as what well, she said, and Lisa says, says jelly roll would do the same thing. Lori. Yes, the jelly roll is going to work the same. Um, I wanted to know, because I planned to stripe, I had planned to stripe these, like on the example, wherever that is, um, I wanted to know how this was going to work. And so if you can see, this is all dry, and I got some really nice clean uh, lines out of it. And you can you can reapply it over but you have a really hard uh, paint surface. It's like tempera paint in a marker, right? And so since, since uh, putting down big swaths of jelly roll can be problematic sometimes because they can be kind of picky, uh, I wanted to know whether this was going to be a good thing to use 
when I needed to have large spaces of white um, on a black tile. Lori Ann Dupont has been uh, screaming the whole time. And Why are you cats. screaming, Lori Ann? She's, she's been doing all caps this whole time. Oh, okay. Time. So what is she saying in all caps, baby? Oh, okay. I have Posca just didn't under, under see, uh, just didn't under see tanned if we are using them for a technical reason. No, um, I'm just, I'm just playing with them. <laughs> I just wanted to take them for a ride and see how they turned out. And this seemed to be a perfect uh, thing. So my little circle is going to be not a circle today. It's going to be wild and kind of crazy, and I'm okay with that. I may even continue it off the tile. Maybe not. We're going to find out. Now you could, uh, you could with your with your uh, pencil draw a circle on here here if you wanted to keep it in the circle and keep it perfect. This time, I just want to go with it and see what happens. That is the true test of a tangle. Is uh, Can you do weird, wonky stuff with it and still have it turn out and be something cool? So we're just taking this baby for a ride. This is a pretty cool tangle. I really like that optical um, effect that we get. All right. And I'm not too concerned about these lines because I know at some point I'm going to go back and uh, go over them. All right, one more. Now look at what's forming up here. We have another meta pattern forming. And uh, she said what kind of cross it was in the Step Out article on TanglePatterns.com, but I... I uh, can't remember. One of you guys probably know. So if Mari could tear his eyes away from his game long enough to find out if somebody's posting something, that would be great. You said to converse with, with you and Caps. Mm hmm? Uh, Lorian Dupont says... Oh, to converse with me in caps? Well, if you have a question, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It helps me to identify um, what is chat to me and what is um, directed at each other. Okay, so this is kind of funky and cool, and I kind of like it. And, uh, yeah, it's lopsided but I don't care. I'm looking at it. I, I, I can't quite decide what I'm going to do with it, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's figure it out. So I'm going to cap this pen. So on this, I did a lot of filling and striping. Um, I think the most effective thing I did here was adding my dark pastel pencil to one side of this, which pops that up into a 3D looking object, right? Uh, Deb, Deb says, will you let us know how the Posca pen ultimately works for you and when it is better than a jelly? Well, I definitely like it better for than jelly rolls for filling in larger spaces like this. Um, I definitely like it better than jelly roll for that. Uh, but um, other than that, it's it's fairly similar. Okay. So um, I think on this one, I'm going to start with this part. And I alternated each one. And I'm going to be using my pastel pencil, and you can use a colored pencil for this just as easily, right? Why am I saying yeah, baby? Hmm? Why did I say yeah? <laughs> Christine in all caps and Mari. So oh. I said, yeah. <laughs> He's there. Yeah. Is that Christiana? Christina. Yeah. Okay. Christine. Anne, Christian. Okay.
I can't. Christiana, are you German? Where are you from? I can't remember if you're French or German or Austrian or. Comes to us Österreich. So I'm only going up to the tip on this with this really dark blue and any dark color that you want to use is going to work here. Okay. I'm starting on the top one and just skipping every and doing every other one. Can I see? What I'm doing? Yeah. Look at what I did. Yeah, is that what you did? He's holding yeah. up my example that I did. No. Hey guys, look at what I did. Yeah, he's talented, isn't he? See? Yeah, he's I see. So talented. Yeah, you're good. I like it. All right. Now, I'm not concerned about these lines turning blue because that's one of the things that I'm going to do at the end is go back over those, uh, either with my Jelly Roll or my Posca paint marker. Christine says, you you remember the br Brotstein issue? The what? The Brotstein issue. Oh, Britchen. Oh, yes. That is an issue because what I don't it? get them over here. Brötchen is a is a breakfast roll that they make in Germany that is amazing. You can you can get it whatever way you like it. Oh, so I can uh, so I can get it uh, uh, in a cheeseburger form. Well, you can probably get it with a sausage or salami on there. Mm. So I'm going to take my canary yellow pastel pencil and I'm going to go to the opposite side and I'm going to do the opposite. Um, striping. I don't know what to say. You know what I, just look, use your eyes. <laughs> you guys are smart people. You got this. Uh, Kimberly says, hello, Cindy and everyone. Uh, hi, Kimberly. Uh, 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 hi, Mari. SP. What does that mean? I don't know what SP means. What does that mean? Mm. All right. So like this, and this this enhances that sort of optical illusion that we've got going on. Spelling. Hmm. Oh, spelling. Oh, she was correct or letting you know that she wasn't sure how to spell it. Is that it? Yeah, that's how. That's uh. how. Uh, that's how you spell it. Okay, baby. All right. This is pretty cool, isn't it? The way this is turning out. You sure you don't want to have a go, baby? It's a cool pattern for a kid. All right, you did. See? Oh, thank you, baby. See? All right, all, all right. right. Hey, 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 out. We also, uh, uh, Simba and River helped me make it too. Yep, it's got paw prints all over it, and mm -hmm. a little and a little tooth mark from River. Mm -hmm. Saying thanks for fixing my teeth. All right. Okay, so I like this. Now, the question is, what do I want to do in here? So, on, where's the example, baby? Hmm? Where's my example? My example. Okay, where's your example? Okay, yeah. so on Mari's example here, <laughs> um, what I did was I went over this. I? Me. What What Mari did... What Mari did was he filled in all of these with the Posca paint marker. And then on every other one, then I came in with my um, Stardust uh, pen and put a layer of uh, blue Stardust over that. 
Now, um, I haven't quite decided if that's what I wanna do here, and I can lay down this stardust just like it is. Um, I did many, 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 many tests <laughs> while I was working this out. And um, I can, I can uh, do that and put pastel color over that. Uh, so the sky is kind of the limit. Um, I've Lorian got, du oh. yeah, go ahead. What's Lorianne saying? Lorian DuPont says, yeah, how's River's, ma River's mouth issues lately? Poor well, girl. she is doing great. It has not slowed down her eating, not even a little bit. So, um, you know, the other thing that you could do if you, if you are trying to get a lighter background for a color to sit on, on black, and that's, that's frequently an issue for people, is having um, a white background to um, color on. The other thing you can do besides what I did, was, which was uh, use the Posca paint marker and then go over the top of that. Uh, the other thing you can do is use a white Prismacolor on these and then go over that. But either way, you're gonna have trouble getting, getting the um, color down. I've seen only one uh, message from Carlito saying, ooh, I, I'll have to get a black marker out and black him over a gun too far. Oh, we must have lost her there at the beginning. All right. She and must she be was busy. the first one. Well, all right. So, yeah. It would, Christiana. In fact, if you wanted to, like if you had a round punch or something, and I would love to get a, like a two inch round punch and, and make some round tiles, which, you know, some smaller ones, or you could use Indala tiles, but those are, those are big depending on the tree. Um, yeah, this would be a great one for that, for sure. Okay, so I am going to... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, Is your Amazon wish list, Miss Cindy? Yeah, seriously. I can tell you mine. You don't need to worry about Mari. He is fine. He is a, a money-hungry little monster right now, and he doesn't need anything. Hey. He has everything he needs. Don't hit me, dude. I'm not. Allison says someone on Zoom had a round punch. That's right. Uh, it may have been Nancy Pierce. You can see how nice and smoothly this rolls on. Uh, Deb says, seriously, you can share one, one out on your Amazon profile, I think. Yes, I can for sure, and uh, I'll try to add that. I, I can easily add that list to the Amazon store. And Susan says, so a normal 11-year-old. Yeah, he, he's definitely normal. <laughs> and Henri, so you can see this, this covers a lot faster than even a Jelly Roll 10. And you have, you have slightly more control over the ink. Of course, whether you have control over your hand or not, that's something else. And once again, I'm not too worried if I get this in the wrong place because I can come in with my PN and just touch everything up. Uh, Kimberly says, is that water-based? Yes, the Posca? it is. And so you need to keep that in mind uh, if you're planning on doing anything with your aqua brush is that this will mix, um, as in my example, when I put the Stardust uh, glitter pen over this, um, I was wanting to smooth out my glitter pen with my aqua brush, but thinking that through, I realized this is water base and what's gonna happen is the white is gonna then mix with my um, jelly, with my um, jelly roll. Uh, with the uh, glitter pen, and that is not what I want. I did not want to wipe that whole thing down. I wanted to use the white as as a foundation 
for the color, so the color would be a tiny bit brighter on this tile. And again, that is something that will work with your white Prismacolor as well. Remember, whatever pencils you use, try to see if you can get just a white Prismacolor. You can buy them in boxes on Amazon if you want. or in your local craft store. I don't know if they will sell them singly. Prismacolors are very reasonably priced right now. They are getting a whole lot of competition from Europe. So uh, look for a good deal on those. But you can see that, that filling in with white, this, this is really nice. It flows on really smoothly. Now I got a set of these. I have a black one, a silver one, and a gold one. And uh, these are a small size. They have a larger, they have a couple of larger uh, sizes with bigger nibs. Antonia King says, are you guys going to be doing another Zoom call? Yes. Uh, in fact, probably this coming Tuesday. And I need to make a short video showing everybody where to find that link because I had a lot of people that did not find that link last time. And like Lori. And I, and I want you guys to be able to find it. Now, also, you are now able to go on Facebook if you are interested in that. You don't have to. Um, you are now able to go to Facebook and search for the group Cindy's Zenders. And, of course, you'll have to spell my name correctly because I didn't misspell my own name on there, just so you guys could find it easier. <laughs> so, C-Y-N-D-E-E, -E, Cindy's Zenders. Vicky says, Darcy Me Too window is having a hard time coming up to first anniversary of his death and tomorrow would have been his birthday. Kind of sad and lonely these days. Boy, do I feel you on that. Kimberly said, I think Cindy said Zoom will be uh, monthly. Um, it, we might even do it every other week. Every other week? Yeah, it doesn't affect you, bud. Well, it, it hasn't. Once you're done with school, it might. I just think it's fun. Or we might change... Mari, don't. No bouncing. We might we might do, like, Facebook Live. I've never done Facebook Live, so I'm not sure how that works. But anyways. So you can tell these, these are easier than using, for large areas, these are easier than using uh, jelly rolls. And they do work nice and smooth. Although there are rough spots, and again, I can, once that's dry, I can go over and put another layer over that if that's what I want to do. I did find that, that this can be a rough surface as far as putting something on top. So you're, you've got to be willing to be patient. And this right here, not worried about that. That's what that black PN is for to fix some of these problems here. Darcy says, Vicky just had fifth anniversary. His V day was, in, was May 12th. Sending love to you. I'm sorry for your loss, sweetie. Mari and I have had our own losses, and so we, we understand and our hearts are with you. Mari is a little too a little too good with loss as far as his experience. He has had way too much experience with that. By the time he was seven, he had had a lot. You know, I kind of like that with the middle section blank. I wonder if that's what I'm going to get everywhere else. Ah, see, it didn't happen there. That's going to be okay. Can be interesting. 
All right. And I do like how easily it goes over other stuff. And you don't have to fill these in if you don't want to. Or, like I said, you could use colored pencil. Or, if you do something like this with Jelly Roll, you can put your colored pencil over that, too. And the pastels go well over this, as uh, too. Mm. Uh, I need, also, there you go. I was looking for a third, too. To, never mind. All right, guys, new challenge. Uh-oh, what, 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 what are you doing? How many likes do we have? Uh, 17. If this video gets to 75... Ooh. Oh, yeah, 75 likes. I'll be in the next live stream. Oh, baby, please. Stop. Stop. Ooh, Stop bucks. moving around. I see 20 bucks. Good, you can have it as soon as we're done. But we only have 43 people. Well, they'll have to like it twice then, won't they? Y'all have to get their other phones to like it. <laughs> They'll just have to share it with people, won't they? Cindy's Zenders. That's right. If you're a Cindy's Zender, uh, if you uh, if you want to be the ultimate Zender, uh, you can uh, you can uh, definitely get to a hundred likes. <laughs> oh, my kid. You know, he has... Please stop moving around, baby. Sorry. Mari has a really interesting perspective on this whole thing, and it's it's important for me to keep his perspective in mind. Tori does, too. They are sort of YouTube generation people. They sort of grew up on it. And so they've, they've got an important perspective that I don't have. You know, I'm fine without YouTube. You, YouTube is fine without me. <laughs> but, um, um, you know, for them, you know, YouTube is part of their community. It's part of their existence. And, yeah. I'm having trouble with that in my head. I guess people aren't hitting the like button. Well, honey... What we've gotten ten more likes than the last since we said something. Ten. Calm down, child. That's twenty seven. Twenty seven? Mm-hmm. Just need fifty more. Forty eight more. We shot should have uh shot for fifty first, but I believe we might be able to get to 75. Andy, what, baby? I just found something. Where was that? Under the bed. I mean, uh, like, uh, inside the bed. How is it inside the bed? Well, under this mattress. You mean under the mattress pad? How did you... I've been looking for that for, like, months. <laughs> See, I'm I'm suspecting that 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 was down there with all of my tortillons having a conga. They're doing a party, conga line. Uh, Polly says, "So sorry, Allison. My mom is a hundred and very f fragile. All of a sudden, with hearing and memory issues galore. Uh -oh. She still lives alone, though. Independent pistol. Uh oh." Just like you, huh, Polly? And me. You're definitely an independent pistol, buddy. Not pistol, shotgun. <laughs> yep. You open the door and he's going to give you both barrels. That's pretty true. Symbol are right here. Uh, just laying down, doing 
Okay, try to be still, baby. I'm using a paint marker and and I don't need to be, you know, slushing it across everything. Right. I'm not planning to do any transcending today, not purposefully anyway. But I really do like this for, for filling in large areas. I think once you see, um, see it with the PN cleaning everything up, you will really like the results. Uh-oh. Somebody's mowing. I think he has some mic. He always waits till I'm live to do his lawn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, uh, he was watching through the window and uh, or on his phone waiting for you to uh, start your live stream. He might be. How many likes have you gotten? We are up to 32 now, Mari. Not even close. Well, you're going to have to do some shenanigans to get people going, I think. Not the wiggly kind of shenanigans, boo. Oh, yeah, also, didn't someone say that uh, they would be doing some tongue twisters? Yeah, we, we need Carlito to come back. Angela isn't here either. She's the other one that's good at that. All right, give Mari your best tongue twisters, guys, and chat. Actually, I think I just never noticed that Angela was here. Is Angela here today? Angela Drummond? I don't see her. Her name should be in green if she's here. If she's a member. Oh, but anyway, what I was saying is you guys can go and request to join the Facebook group if that's what you would like. Zenanigans. Zenanigans. That's our word for shenanigans with the zenders. So it's zenanigans. Allison said, uh, I mean, Christine said, Polly adopted me. <laughs> Polly said, uh, little Christine, uh, you're my boy's little sister and the daughter I never had. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, uh, what do you guys think of these Posca paint markers? You know, if you, if you, uh, struggle with filling stuff, then these might be a good choice for you. Especially if you like to work on black. And as you can see, once they're dry, you can go right over it again. This does tend to have some residue in the, in the paint. But um, especially if you're going to put something else over it, that's, that's going to work pretty good. You can wipe it off, but yeah. All right, so the magic with the PN... Is about to start. All right. I guess y'all don't want me to be in the next live stream. Oh, will you stop that? <laughs> They're at 34. 34? Yeah. That's not even close. Well, yeah. might have aimed a little too high today. I guess y'all don't want me to be in the next live stream. Will you stop? This is what I live with every day. Uh, I guess you don't love me because you don't do what I want. I guess you don't love me since I don't want me to be in the next live stream. Are you trying to guilt my audience into uh, liking the video? Yeah, Please so don't. Be, so, that, yeah, so I can be in the next live stream. That's so passive aggressive, baby. So I can be in the le next live stream. You can be in the next live stream anyway. Can you I just have to choose to be. Please stop wiggling. You are the wiggliest child. Mari. Mm -hmm. Allison says, but if there are not enough of us here. See? All right, I'm bumping it lower to 74. <laughs> How about put it on, you know, 45? No. No. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Mm-hmm. Well. Lauren Dupont says I haven't even tried mine yet. Too scared. You're what? Tried what, Lori? Huh. Let me just look back through the comments.
I'm swing jumping. I haven't even tried mine yet. Too scared again. Okay. In all caps this time. I I I I don't know what we're talking about though. What did you not try? Uh, maybe even drawing the tile, drawing the pattern. I don't know. I bet she'll explain it to us. Maybe. Well, hold still, baby. There's only forty-four people in the ch in chat. They'll uh will be very hard to get seventy-five likes. Well, we're I not we're not going for seventy-five. We're going uh down to fifty-five. Hmm. I think it should be fifty. No, because we have almost have fifty people in chat. So apparently YouTube doesn't care about subscribers anymore. Now their thing is likes on videos and such. So it's good that we're focusing on that. All right. She said never mind. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out once I can see what's going on. Or once she tells us. Mar. Hmm. Well, I, wasn't I wasn't trying to be rude. And yet you were. Posca. That's what she said. Ah, you have Posca paint markers. All right. They're pretty awesome on black, I gotta say. If the gold and the silver works this well... I'll be pleased. Uh, I did try out the gold, and it's not as sparkly as the metallic gold jelly roll. Whenever I said, uh, if we get to 55 likes, I'll be in the next live stream. We bumped up to, to 52 people. Hey, everybody give the video a like. I'm sorry, Barbara, but I can't make it 45. <laughs> You could, baby. You could. You just choose not to. And I'm bumping it back up to 60. Mar, that's just because you don't want to be in the live stream. And frankly, if you don't want to be there, I don't want you there. Well. Now, if you were excited about being in the live stream and enjoyed yourself while you were there, then I'd be excited. This whole sighing thing you've got going on. I don't know what that is. I think Lori's going crazy. What's wrong, Lori? She uh, screamed Posca three times. That's because she's probably she's probably hearing us before her her chat was came up and and uh, we um yeah sorry Lori we'll we'll catch up. Oh Nancy Gregg is here. Hi Nancy. Saying, saying good morning good afternoon. Try to be late. I had to help my hubby. How is your hubby? What is a hubby? Husband. Oh. Are counting the likes after the live stream too? Mm. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Mari says no, but I am. I definitely am. I'm definitely not. Uh, oh, luckily. All right. So, uh, I have been able to clean this up really easily with my PN. And I kind of like the fact that this is kind of all over the place as far as the shape goes. I'm, I'm kind of digging that off-kilter kind of look. Uh, so, I think the other next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sparkly pen, my glitter pen from Sakura. This is a Stardust Jelly Roll. Indeed. Yes, baby. Carlito is back. Carla! She Hi. Said, sadly, she said, oh my, panic attack just released in time. Are you all right? She also said, missed a good one by the looks of it. Well, Mari's here. We've been yep. missing you. And so I'm just rolling this over on this one side.
because I found since we're this is the dark side that if we darken these lines that throws that even further into shadow as far as our eyes go. So like this. And see see how much depth and dimension that gave that all of a sudden. Carlito also said, can't believe I missed most of the night. Hey, we're still here. I was looking at the Project Pack videos. Ah, those are good. So don't forget, when we get done, I'm going to be looking at some of those Project Pack 11 videos with you guys. So if you want to be uh, getting some box backs and cutting your tiles to five size, that would be great. Or you want to, if you want to order the Project Pack, you can. Um, the only thing that you really need from that besides... Um, the tiles, uh, the right size is the, the Marcus Operandus, and they have a free download link for that on Zentangle. How many likes do we have? Uh, we have 40 likes and 51 people in chat. So, come on, guys, give us a few more likes. When does the next Project Pack stuff start? start? Uh, it is uh, in, I think, two weeks. Uh, in mid April or in mid May, we the next project pack starts. Also, Cindy said that uh, she'll be doing videos. Every, uh, she'll be doing two videos each day. Dude, you know you know you're laying on my feet, so I can kick you really easily, right? Carlito Alter Ego says I've done too many tangles today. My Zen Tangle injury has came back. <laughs> Your Zen Tangle in injury has returned. Huh? And Cindy, uh, promised. Mar, what did I promise? Uh, that you'll be doing two videos. I will not day. be doing two videos a day. Stop that. Carlito also says, shh, Mari. I know. Could you give him a tongue twister or something for his little wiggly self to do? So he will quit shifting my camera every time he moves. Whoever's been saving up tongue twisters for him. Pull them out. Throw them out. He needs some. She sells seashells down by the seashore. How much could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's right. That's a good one. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That was one from of my Woody favorites. From Woody the Woodpecker. That was not from Woody the Woodpecker, dude. Mm. All right. Now. Ta -da, ta -da. Let's put some finishing touches on this bad boy. Carlito says, ah, Allison, what will I do without you? And he <laughs> also says, Mario, stop fidgeting. Yes, he I'm is good. a little fidgeter, isn't he? I'm good. Cut it out, you little fidgeter. Okay, now I'm going to take my graphite pencil. And this doesn't need it on this side so much. Uh, Susan says, not a tongue twister, but here is something for you. If you get a larger bed, you have more bedroom, but less bedroom. <laughs> You'll have more bedroom, but less bedroom. Oh. Cute, cute. Oh, yeah, smart I boy. Know. You got it, didn't you? Yeah. Smart because you have, you have more uh, room uh, room in your bed, but uh, less but room less... in your room. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You, you have a larger bed bedroom, uh, but uh, you have more bedroom, but less bedroom bedroom all right so on the opposite side on the light side i am going to bring my pencil in here and i'm going to shade right along this edge carlito says allison do you, do you want to go back to work all right also she also says do you do you know who who the care bears are of course we know who the Care Bears are. At least I do. From Carlito. Yes. I know who the Care Bears are. Who are they? They're little animated bears called the Care Bears. There was an animated show back in the day. Sort of our version of, of um, whatever's cool today. I don't know.
So just this little bit of shading, this little bit of definition here, it makes a big difference. How many legs do we have? Uh, we now have 44. Come on, guys, give us a like. Wait a minute, you've been going slow this entire... I didn't... Uh, you promised you would, Mari, if 45 likes or something. Not. Yeah, and the last time you did one of these, you made some promises too, buddy, that you didn't keep. I said 55 likes. The, I'm not talking about this time. I'm talking about the last time. I'm talking about this time. Yeah, I bet you are. And this Posca paint, you can shade right over it. It works really well. So I'm pretty pleased. Let me find a tortillon. I want to blend this just a minute. Here we go. Susan says, if you say rise up lights, it sounds like you're saying razor blades with an Aussie accent. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are a mess. That's why I, I like love you. Them. Is she well, what did she say? What'd she say to say? If you say rise up lights, it sounds like you are saying razor blades with rise up here. lights, rise up lights, rise up lights, rise up lights. Oh, ah. Also, Dan Welch says a skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stung, at, but the stump stung the stunk. What? Skunk stunk. Okay. Seven in the chat. Beware, Marty. Uh oh. Come on, guys. Give us a few more likes. No, maybe I. Maybe, no, no. To, you're no. You can't go back now. Is there an option to like kick some people out? No, dude. Why are you kicking people out? We want them to like the video. Oh, he doesn't want to come back. That's why. You should not make promises you're not willing to keep, young man. All right. Carly says, enough of that, Maury. That's right. Enough of what? Whatever. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my pastel pencils and just brighten and, and go over some of these areas that I might have smudged. Where's my indigo blue? I'm going to this time take care not to get anywhere else. And River's uh, snoring uh, really loudly. She is really loudly snoring, for sure. Oops, uh, wrong one. Carlio says, Alison Johnston. Mm-hmm. She's in New Zealand. That's that's clear, clear over there where Australia is. But Aussies are not from New Zealand, and New Zealanders are not from Aussie, and Kiwis are not from Aussie. From Australia. We have Stephen Adams on our team and we love him. At least he was last time I checked. Alright. He's from New Zealand. How many likes? Uh forty-four still. Alright. Few. <laughs> Few. Was born in the UK. Ah, okay. All right. What else do I want to do to this? I'm thinking. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bonjour. Bonsoir bonsoir means good evening in no, French. It says bonjour. It says bonjour. Mm -hmm. From Alison. Oh. Ah, we have our French friend Gael here and Valerie. Bonsoir. Bonjour. And bonjour, Mari says. We're saying bonsoir because it's evening. Bonjour. Bonjour is good day. And bonsoir is good evening. All right. What's uh, high in, in uh, France, I think? What's high in France? In French, um, 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 my my lovely French ladies. Uh, wh how do you say high in French? Mari wants to know. I thought it was bonjour. Well, bonjour is good day. 
It is frequently, it is a common greeting. Salute. Salute. There you go. Is, does that, or is that just some, or is that, is Well, that that's what you word? say when you drink. <laughs> At least that's what I say. When you clink glasses, you say salute. Or is, or is that a French word for something uh, that I don't know? What, salute? No, it could be hi. Well, no, they uh, they might be playing tricks. No, they wouldn't do that. They're nice. Carlio says, Mario, are you good at maths? Yeah. Huh. Want to hear some quick maths? Want to hear some quick maths? Go for it. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three. Quick maths. <laughs> All right, buddy. I, I know everybody is beyond impressed now. Two plus two is four. Ooh, I kind of like that idea. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Mm-hmm. It sure is. Mari has improved a lot in math this year. Salute, salute, spoken salute. It's it's a it, sh, sa, salute. Oh, okay. Thank you. If I means right. It's what? Hmm? What'd you say? Uh, oh. It, Siri says, if Je I means right. Très bien. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Also, Carlio, uh, nine times six is 54. There you go. He's a crazy man now. All right. I think the last thing I'm going to do is take my... Cindy, salut is pronounced with you in loud. You know that from German and without the teeth. And Carlio Salut. says, name a flower beginning, uh, with, beginning with the letter D. Dandelion. Oh, there you go. That's Quick actually mass. a weed, but yeah, it's got a flower on there. Daisy, then. There you go. Daisy's another one. Dandelion is, what, is a good one. All right, so I'm just sort of brightening up a couple of spots Wait, here. Wait, dandelion is technically a flower because it has a flower on it. Well, almost every plant has some kind of a flowering thing. So it's a flower. It's a weed that has a flower. So a, so a flower. Okay, baby, whatever you want it to be. Well, that's what Darcy said. Well, Darcy says... It's actually a flower. They say now it's not. Say, they say now oh, it's not a weed. We'll see. So now I learned something today. Yeah. And I grew smarter. Mm, your brain is bigger today. And Carlio says a rose is a weed to a farmer. True, true. Why? Well, because a farmer needs this, the space that the rose is in uh, for farming. And if a rose is there, even though it's beautiful, it's still in his way, and he needs to take it out. So, therefore, it is a weed. And Carlio says daffodil. Daffodils, yes. All right. Just touch up a couple more spots, and we will be done. I was just about to say that I'm starting to get bored. Yeah, I bet you are. You have been off your phone this last while. Good job. I appreciate that. Because everyone was uh, yelling at me. It's because they like you. Name your car beginning with N, Nissan. Good one. I know I can count on Carlito to entertain. So Carlito, you are in the description of our Facebook group. I just want you to know, honey. I'm up. Add her as a monitor, too. All right, baby, you can do that. Should I, though? <laughs> we'll be now making a poll. Uh, everyone say uh, say yes if you want. If you uh, think a good idea is to add Carlito <sighs> as a monitor, and say no if you, if you disagree. Sorry, guys. Starting now. He's bored. I'm almost done. They're all going to say yes, of course. Except for Carlito. I, I, I'm I'm predicting she says no. Why not? 
because she's Carlito and she's and she's like that. Just like you always say the opposite of anything I say to you. Or I say hi to Luke. Hey, Luke. Who's Luke? Mm. Me either. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes. See, so you should make her a moderator. Carla says no, not a teacher. <laughs> John John Cardi says Carlito is the best. Barbara says yes. See? Marilyn says yes. See? All right. Definitely should do it. Majority says yes. But uh but does Carlito say yes? Well, that is the important one, isn't it? Carlito says you made my fella smile. Uh Oh, he said hi to... Oh, is your fella's name Luke? Hi, Luke. How are you today? So, Carlito, do you... Uh, uh, do you want to be a moderator? <laughs> He's like a dog with a bone. Dig, 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 dig. What do you mean? I mean, you just won't let it go. Just make her a moderator. Quit making a deal out of it. Well, I gotta get her permission first. Do ya? The man from Del Monte, sa he says yes. See? You don't need her permission. You can do it without her permission. Alright. Just a tiny bit more cleanup with my ink pen and I will be done. Uh, Luke says he doesn't want uh, to know. He doesn't want to know what? <laughs> Pepper Jackie says, what kind of pen is that? It's a Posca paint marker. I assume you're talking about this one. It's a Uni Posca paint marker. It's uh, I got it in a set of four with black, silver, and gold. And I thought I would try it out on this tile. It works really well for covering uh, bigger areas. And I thought I would try that in uh, in lieu of the jelly roll today. Speaking of pos Posca, everyone's saying Posca. That's because it's, it's because they're answering for me. Because they're awesome. So if you guys want to be part of the Zenders Facebook group, just go to Facebook and do a search for groups for Cindy's Zenders. Wait, I've got it written down. Nope, not on this one. Wait, where'd I write it? Oh, it's on this one. <laughs> like this. Cindy's Zenders, right? Right here, peeps. Right here. Cindy's Zenders. You can see this, right? Nope. Cindy. I can't That's see it. the name of the Facebook group. I can't see it. There's a bunch of pictures of kids and dogs on there. I can't see it. All right. Now, the ultimate test. Can I put my chop on with this? I'm guessing no, but what? we're going to give it a try. All right. How about we put it right in here? Wait, this is too close now. There we go. Carlos says Del Monte is it? Is an advert from a long time ago, English. So it went down like a lead balloon. Mm. They they do that sometimes. Can't have them in stitches all the time. What are you doing? I'm putting my chop on. That's my artist's mark. Mari's about to go nuts. We're done, buddy. We're done. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me today. If you guys would like to go and hang out with each other, go to Facebook and join the Zenders group. If I recognize your name, I am automatically putting you in there. If I don't, then you might get some questions to answer. So, we we'll also, see. Uh, Carlito uh, said, English people are weird, Mari, and <laughs> Susan said, question, why is it called a chop? And Carlio said, guid, night. 
Um, why it's called a chop, there's a very good article on Zentangle about chops and artist marks and where that word comes from. I believe it comes from Korean, and uh, it's where uh, I believe, and again, I could be wrong, but I believe what they what they have in that country is is they have symbols that represent words, right? And so you would have a symbol that represents your name. Or, or your essence, or who you are, or whatever, and so that symbol could then be could then be what they do is they chop it up. Basically, they change it around and make it something new until it becomes an artist mark. And so it has all of your essence that's essence in there, but it's sort of turned around. Now that's my sort of convoluted explanation. But if you really want to learn about that, go to zentangle.com and check out their blog post about chops it is very very interesting and you will learn a lot yeah, all right mm -hmm. nine times six is 54 shut your mouth and say no more what mm -hmm. rhyme i learned uh carlio <laughs> says i'll go back to the start of your video now and says graffiti is a tag graffiti is a tag okay all right all right all right guys i am gonna go over to the facebook group right now and uh, see, thank you, Marcy, and see uh, if any of you are just trying to uh, get in, and I will go add you. And uh, if not, it may be because I don't recognize you from chat. So, yeah, Marilyn, I'm not either. I'm not either, and I'm not promising they will see me in there very often. But uh, it, it, is, it, is, um, it, it is still a good thing to have a place for, for us to be a community. So... Um, thank you guys so much for being with me today. I want to thank my helper, Mr. Bowens Pelly. Mm -hmm. And I guess y'all don't want me in the next live stream. Oh, 47 likes, dude. We did great. It, the goal was 55. Um, yeah, uh, you guys go read the article. I'm not very good at explaining. Um, cat okay well i i um went through there today and approved a bunch of people like i said if i recognize you then then um i i went ahead and put you in there if not you may get a question because i don't want people in there that aren't a part of our community either i want it to be private and safe for us okay all right guys i will see you over there oh, yeah. bye so, yes you end the stream yes uh everyone comment in chat uh, if you saw, uh, if you saw Cindy's first video. Oh, yikes. If you were, if you were the, uh, <laughs> uh, go, go down, uh, I mean, Don't do it. Uh, say, uh, say in chat, if you were the <laughs> first, uh, if, uh, if you watched Cindy's first video when she first begun. You don't want to watch my early videos. They're really not very good. No, I'm talking about the, the very, very. Yeah, me too. Okay. Now that we have finished that, guys, I love you. Uh, Mari, you're getting thank you. Yes, please bring bring harder maths. <laughs> Everything is pending. Who said their membership was pending? Okay. Um, sorry, Kimberly. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Barbara, what is your question, sweetheart? Let me take a look. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. Oh, she wondered why signing a tile is called a chop. And like I said, it comes, it's an Asian uh, thing. Um, and that's just, um, it's representative of who they are. And I don't know why they decided. It's sort of just come over and become, uh, you know, I don't know, Barbara, that's a good question. Let's go read that article again and then I'll be able to remember, okay? All right. All right, guys. Um, okay, Pepper, I gotcha. Um, I am going to go over there and see who's there, and I will see if I can get you guys in there. All right, guys. I'm going to see you later. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.